Hey, what's going down, you tater tot looking potatoes? I know some of you are probably rattled that I'm back, but fear not, it's only for a few days. But like I said, I'll be here every now and then. My name is Jared Bronstein, and now it's time to talk about how scientists are reversing the aging DNA in mice and how it could affect us human potato beans. Dr. David Sinclair and his group of colleagues from Harvard Medical School have revealed they might have figured out how we could look young forever without turning into Kim Kardashian. Blah, blah, shots fired! No, but seriously, there's something called NAD, which is short for. Nicotinamidine adenine dinucleotide. And if you think I said that wrong, well, you bet your ass I did. This is actually what, it, what it's called. A study conducted back in 2013 proved a theory that if older mice had their NAD plus levels increased, they would look like much younger animals, both physically and biologically. Dr. Sinclair explains after putting drops of NAD plus in the water of a group of test mice that in just hours their levels of NAD plus had increased. And within a week of testing, the team saw an improvement in the mice's muscles and DNA repair. The doc was quoted saying, We can't tell the difference between the tissues from an old mouse that is two years old versus a young mouse that is three to four months old. Crazy, right? Yeah, it is. So how does this work? Well, it's believed, as previously mentioned, that NAD plus could help repair DNA in the body. When cells of your body split, the DNA copies itself, but we're human and we make mistakes, so it's not always perfect. That's why there's erasures on pencils, in case we mess up our DNA. This leads to damaged DNA in the body, which can also occur when you're exposed to certain chemicals and things such as radiation from CT scans. But the compound that actually repairs your DNA isn't NAD plus, it's PARP1 or PARP1. So how is this all connected? The study confirmed that when NAD plus levels in the body are high, PARP1 is activated and can quickly repair damaged DNA. But when NAD plus levels are lower, as they are in older people, the PARP1 compound in your body also drops, which leads to damaged DNA. But before you think this will become a pill to help you look younger, it's actually going to be used for medicine. More specifically, Dr. St. Clair is hoping that the drug, which is going to be coming in the shape of a pill, will be beneficial to people exposed to extreme radiation and cancer survivors. This pill is called NMN, which stands for, here it is again, nicotinamide monoeucalyptide. And guess what? I said that wrong too, so here's how you actually say it. As of now, the doc's hoping he could test this new pill on a group of 25 people to see if it's safe. The compound in MNN is also found in foods like broccoli, cucumber, and avocado. When speaking on the new potential drug, Sinclair said this is the closest we are to a safe and effective anti-aging drug that's perhaps only three to five years away from being on the market if trials go well. As always, you guys gotta drop us a comment down below with your thoughts, but now I gotta read some comments. Feels like I haven't done this in forever. Ooh. So in the video we did titled 12 year old girl suspended from school for selling sex toys, the potato queen said anyone else miss Jared. Now, what was really funny, well first of all, thank you for writing that. Ron did this video and it was kinda funny to me because I am entertained said they both suck and Max Zella Gaming said no. Well, Potato Queen, thank you. Secondly, be nice to Ron, guys, because he's actually a great guy. And thirdly, for the other two people, don't be a dick. Bob Bobby said, I got sent to the principal's office for farting during a test. That is not right, because I used to fart in class, but I'll just blame on other people, so you should do that next time. Zion the Stranger Heart said, not going to lie, I do like Ron just as much as Jerad. Well, how come you spelled his name right? You spelled mine wrong, bud. That hurts. But I'm happy to hear you guys like Ron. Like I said, he's a great guy, and I don't like when you guys are being a dick to him, because when I came and Dave left, you guys were a dick to me, and it sucks, so don't be a dick to Ron. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys soon.